still no on the other cameras. Alrighty, well welcome, 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 anyone, everyone, did the notification come up? Maybe, or is that the old stream? Is that the old one? Eight minutes ago. That's the old one. However, we're currently live with this one, yes. Alrighty. so that I don't uh, use up my bandwidth here. All right. Let's get more on the actual and let there be happy light. And I have a Verilux happy light that I got at Sam's Club on sale while I was still working there. So we already got what I call salmon, tan, ver, Vallejo tan on some of these. What is he wearing? Oh, weird. Okay. So he's got... Uh, I don't know what he's got going on here. It's kind of like a fishing net. Maybe he's supposed to be a water runner of some sort? It's like a fishing net with the uh, teeth as the weights to hold it down. But he seems to have it all the way down his legs and stuff. Looks like he might have gills. It's hard to tell what those are supposed to be, but they don't all have that, so weird forgot about Ogre Command, and since this Bugbear Matron is pretty similar, I want to paint them up either in complementary colors, matching colors, or conflicting colors. Alright, so she's got a goblin that she's leading around on a leash. Who's trying not to get choked out? This guy's using a door as a shield. And a shield as armor. Various other bits and bobs for cobbled together armor. Looks pretty effective. There's a goblin carrying the war drum and then there's a pair of goblins do 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 thousand and one space odyssey do dun dun couple goblins standard bearers I was looking this guy up earlier and I got sidetracked, but he's a mutant of some sort, it looks like. Got like a lumpy, bumpy, Quasimodo kind of head going on here, or Jekyll and Hyde thing going, because there are clearly some bumps going on that brow. He's got a small arm. Quagmire after discovering the internet. Or at least certain parts of it. I'm gonna go back inside now, Peter. 
this guy's losing his head. Come on, chair. Cooperate with me, please. He's not on my priority list, but I will put him here. If I get to him, I get to him. I ordered that. Oh, okay, it's right in there. Just stick it all in one spot. There's this ogre and the Etten I did with Dark Flesh covered with Cadian Flesh Tone using the Dark Flesh as the muscle tone because it looks more red and muscly, like reddish purple to me. Tan, though, when I was using it over at Greg and Lucy's place, it did indeed look tan. He said it looked tan, and I'm like, it's salmon. But I get it home under these lights, and yeah, that's salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Go for some salmon patties right now. All right, if you get this pack of ogres, and you're worried about mold lines right here across the knuckles on the removable arm segment which we're removing so that we can actually get in there and do the painting I'll leave this guy's weapon with him for now I may or may not get around to doing more with the Oni if I'm doing like the weapon and armor colors I'll throw them into the mix I've got some forks along for the ride Whoa. Seriously? <laughs> Did you get me one of those uh, as seen on TV devices with the uh, apron that you suction to the mirror so you don't get your beard hair all over the sink? And I could just pull this little sucker out, but oh, come out of there. Additional desk section. Huh. That might work better for stability's sake. Assuming I can keep my legs like this. Alright. I'm not worried about it too much at this second, especially since I still gotta go back and do the club itself, but let's put you up just a little. But I seem to have missed that teeny tiny spot inside the palm there and just inside the index finger there. So try to keep them with their weapons. But we're going to go back to that later. And this second gnome, so the other one's the benefactor, and then this one's a whole different character. Oh, excuse me. So with that, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, if I want to lighten that or just go as is, but it looks like salmon to me. <laughs> Alright, well let's shake our paints, drink some water. And work our tan work on our tan or at least our seasonal affective disorder with this light. What is this cable? Oh. Seriously? So it's the micro cable I was looking for, but I was not looking on the desk, obviously. And I was looking for a black cable because like almost all the ones I have around here are black except for two white cables and the one purple one. I needed a cable a few days ago. I just stole the one off the tablet to plug in the powered USB port, hoping that would work for the cameras. So far, it has not. What about heavy skin tone? I think we used a lot of that on the other ogre. Maybe we can just go straight into that. Huh. 
Yeah, I brought home two six strips of the Vallejo paint and then parts of the Ogre Command and stuff that were still over there. So I could try to get some paint on them. down a size because this guy doesn't have much exposed flesh and this brush is forking on me. Let's try it on her left arm, get up underneath her vest. Hmm. Well, so far this seems to be one coat coverage. So far. I didn't get my paperwork finished today, still had to print out documents. I hope I have them all now. So we can go back and get the financial aid we need to not end up in some truly dire straits. So I'm about to start a second job. And last I checked, I only need 988 more subscribers before we start getting monetized. I believe I put my Venmo in the description along with my Amazon wish list. Nothing crazy on there yet. Nothing too egregiously expensive. No Vespa like we see on United States of Terra. Oh, okay. The way I'd painted it, it looked like this wasn't actually more of a muscle. It looked like it was some kind of frill sticking out. skin tone. I might have some more on another one of these, but not on these two. This one was heavy skin tone, flesh wash, dead flesh. <laughs> Bone white, off white, and tan, and the tan and heavy skin tone seem to be functional. I don't know about the other ones. Come on. So her crop top, vest, tank top, whatever she's got going on here. It's in tatters. So you've got some midriff going on, but it's not all necessarily even because you've got the side is kind of ripped up. And then like there's the oversized armpit hole. Oh, armhole. So you got the pit to get in there and paint. Get some more water on this brush. Maybe it'll cooperate. Not too much on there because this is bones and it is hydrophobic. Water. On this side, yeah. So it's the other side that's not as uh, even, but the rest of it. Seems to be good to go. Just make sure you uh, nudge the bristles up into those uneven spots of the shirt. We're doing the shirt after the flush, so get in there, get any nooks and crannies when it comes to the uh, belt. and crannies. Go through the hole in the necklace, go between the chain of it, or string or what have you. Probably a leather thong kind of thing. Just 
make sure you get in there and then when we go to do the shirt and the necklace we'll just be painting that right over top of what we've got. I don't know much about her but I know that she's uh, a two pack a day kind of gal. She's been around and seen some stuff. And she ain't gonna take nothing from you. Get a bit of a Leonin look to the face there. Alrighty. A little bit of the uh, chest we missed. Just a little bit more. Come over to the right arm. Huh. Looks like she was some assembly required. I think the arm might be separate from the rest of her. So make sure you don't have big a, too big of a gap between the uh, shirt and the right arm. Otherwise, put some skull glue or something in there. Whatever your preferred method of filling your filler is. some kind of dainty little rope armband like a friendship bracelet or something. since we're trying to just do one coat and not have to do any extra tricks right now. Try to speed up this process. Muscles. So she's got like the Popeye going on in the muscle department. She eats her spinach. Alright, then the legs and yeah, the lower legs and the tootsies are showing. So right up here against the skirting. If we got enough paint on the brush, right, not too much though. stuck in my head. 
maybe it was from last night's car ride. Well, not last night, but the night before. Like some Huey Lewis on the nose or something. hand yet. I don't know what colors the gabos are going to be. So we'll ignore them for now. They can just be shock white arctic goblins or something. Song stuck in head, task unfinished. Uh. Ooh, ah, ooh. Something, 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 something. mostly covered in armor. So I'm going to go down a brush size. One because the brush is forking in the middle. And two because it's just not going to get into those nooks and crannies the way I want. Flat shader, sure. That will do. Although the the ferrule or whatever is thicker than the brush. Why are they all forking? I've never had this problem with brushes until recently. I've had a few of them do the curl tip before. I don't think I've had any of them just flat out do this to me. small here so we can get some details. I'm going to start on the right arm on this one. For no particular reason yet. Just thought since it was exposed and I can see it from this angle I'll just start there because I wanted to not start with the face in case we're having any difficulties with the brush or the paint. Alright, I need to put my leg. 
I jacked up something on my foot a couple years back during rehearsals for Spring Awakening. Something went pop. We just started from the top. The girls were doing It's Raining Men. We men went running onto the stage and went to do just a little Mario jump. So just up like six inches or less and then like back down on it. I was wearing the shoes I was going to be wearing for the performance. So like three inch heels as opposed to a little one, one and a half inch that I'd been rehearsing in so far. And something went pop. Alright, so where this armor is joined, I'm just gonna... Unless that's actually supposed to be arm. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But we're gonna put this on there for now. I... <laughs> gave a... Uh, timeout signal with my hand and limped off the thing. They gave us a break. And... I, uh hobbled through the rest of the performance, but I didn't let it uh, stop me. And then I had an appointment, I don't know if it was the next day or the day after, with the VA. Or maybe that one I went in specifically for that. Yeah, I think that one I actually went in specifically for that. It was my hand that did something similar. Went to grab a box something that somebody got in the mail that was sitting down there and I stretched my hand just a little too far and something went pop. Uh, both times they said the x-rays came back unremarkable so my left side at least is unremarkable. Don't know if by the transitive property or by you know, narrowing things down that my right side is remarkable or you know I know it's a medical term, but it's like, wow. All this, didn't even get a sucker, and you're telling me my hand is unremarkable? I've seen 20 hands just like this today. Yeah, but my hand, I'd gone in for my appointment like the next day. And they're like, oh, let's get you over to x ray. Okay, and then they sent me over to the, yeah, that was last year, and sent me over to the uh, annex to get a brace so I could at least protect my hand a little bit. And while I was over there, they had vaccines going on, like, yes please, while I'm here, and I got to sit in a recliner for that 15 minute waiting period, like, okay, propped it up, like, if I'm going to sit in a recliner, I'm going to recline. Let's stay up and get the arm. myself right now that this would be so much easier with the Steinol res and getting the airbrush up and running but I don't have the Steinol res right now. And I've probably been soaking my airbrush way too long in the airbrush cleaner but I haven't felt like messing with it. I've just been trying to plug along and get more paint on models one way or another. Like Blondie, I guess. Get you, get you, get you, get you one way or another. I'm a painter. I'm gonna give you some paint. Maybe next week. Yeah, when I was trying to figure out what this guy was, I think I found the number for him on the. Bones Corset, I think he was 
listed as 122, but I couldn't see where that key, like where a key for that was. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, excuse me. Appears to be wearing somebody's chain shirt. <laughs> like just kind of pulled over the head. Kind of like he got in a hockey fight. the muscle is just the way I went in paint that side and that side this little band of muscle on the underarm between the bicep and the tricep which on this it's just kind of a solid line but when I ever so briefly had that from having a 1982 Cadillac Fleetwood hearse limousine all 22 feet of car and no power steering for about a year. So at those slow speeds in a parking lot and turn, 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 that builds up that little uh, extra bit of muscle in there that apparently is the arm wrestling muscle. Turkish guy, his name was spelled Yigit. It's pronounced Yeet. That was before the whole memedom of yeeting something out of here because it was only 2007 when I was a young 27 compared to the one gal on our crew who is an old 27 the people from my graduating class and I if we go to a guessing game I'm gonna win out of it because they're not gonna guess my age within three especially if I shave but most of them they're gonna guess probably a decade above I don't know what stuff they've seen and what kind of lives they've lived but their faces are certainly worse for the wear maybe it's all that sun I tried to avoid in high school while they were all having fun in the sun very much tried to avoid the sun in the summertime. I'd go out, but I have flannel on, which wasn't bad. It actually kept me cooler. Kind of the idea of like the burka or I don't know all the names for the various Middle Eastern attire, but you know how it just kind of keeps a little bit of cool in and keeps the heat out. Like as long as I had some kind of shorts on so my legs could breathe and I could keep the sun from beating down on my arms I was good I can remember Justin who lived down the street from the gift shop where we played magic and I were cutting across 
higher junior high like the football field part which now is where the school sits because of the Akron school renovations where they're using the uh, federal grant to make things into community centers so he's got all this armor on but he's still barefoot okay Got two syllables for you, Caltrops. Not that that doesn't work in most fights. I don't think it'll make zombies shamble any slower or do anything to the skeletons, but it comes to things with soft feetsies, yeah. Gotta get up underneath this armor. While dodging the shield and I don't know if he was made as one piece or just was assembled before sh being shipped out, but I can't get in here that well and that arm is on there, so it's gonna stay on there. Gotta get inside the knee, come on. Look, I got that one shining for that side, but I considered putting it over my left shoulder, but I have to ask Josh what that song was the other night because it's bugging me. <laughs> it is bugging me. Speaking of which, though, let's share this to Facebook. Maybe we'll get someone who's up at uh, quarter after 11 Eastern Standard. Hey, hey. For a second, I was thinking it was. triangle brushes I did use the red one earlier while I was painting over at their place to get the salmon tan on these guys down in here in the leggy do have that angle brush but I don't think that'll be required I just need to ow finagle it just a wee bit more Get a little extra paint on there and just kind of push it. Like pushing a broom or a mop around. Let's go in from the top. Try to get behind this shin guard and above the rest of the greave. I think my, uh, Cleric of Morden might get along with this guy, at least on a uh, great minds think alike kind of basis. He's using a door and improvised armor. I'm using a wagon wheel as a shield. If he ever faces this guy, then I think he's going to claim this as a tower shield for himself. I'll take the uh, feet for it later. Take whatever penalties I need to in the meantime. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tower shield. Since there aren't very many classes that have tower shield as. Oh, forgot behind this. 
powered shield as part of their weapon and armor proficiencies in 3.5. It was for the Metal Master Druid from Dragon Magazine, so my Warforged Metal Master Druid certainly has a tower shield. Can set that sucker and let smaller characters hide behind it if need be. Provide them some cover. And it's just a DM NPC for now. I haven't actually used him in anybody else's game. I did add repair to a spell list since that wasn't part of it because I think it came up before Eberron did. But all the repair light, repair moderate, repair serious, repair critical, just like the cure spells. So, okay, just add those to the spell list. You can't spontaneously cast them unless it said otherwise, but. throwing hammers and I believe I gave him a giant maul of a hammer and then that tower shield so whatever the biggest war hammer you could carry one handed since he'd be dealing with a tower shield most of the time skin in between there because I don't know what's behind there so maybe it's just some exposed skin between the straps and some juicy bits for the uh, thieves I mean adventurers the roguish adventurers to target with their extra damage I can relate. When I was at Fort Irwin, California, I was out. It got the right side of my belly, but not the left side. So, like right along the waistline was this clear demarcation between horrible pain and normal unburnt skin. Bugbears, I'll probably go with the uh, butterscotch kind of colors for them later, but at least want to get tan underneath to be the dark flesh color, since I think I have a little bit more of the tan. Same thing with these orcs. Orc archers. These are the gray bones, so maybe they'll be slightly less hydrophobic. However, they do have some horrible uh, mold lines on the bow. You're not all three identical models, are you? Not that it matters, but... Okay, the orc archers are three identical archers. Okay. Not a big deal, but like everything else I've gotten has been uh, less... Well, these are actually from Underhill for five bucks? Huh. Because Underhill, prior to the WizKids line of miniatures coming out, they'd order you minis, but if it wasn't something pre-painted, nope. Oh, so the, so 
the whole staff or is it the whole model that's... Oh, okay, so it's the whole staff in her hand. And then... That spell effect orb. Oops, what am I doing? Oh, wait, did I keep it? Okay, there's that part. What did I do with the other part? My tripping, tripping, stumbling. What did I do with the other Oh, I put that aside somewhere else earlier or something. And then now fighter, and then son of a, there's another ogre. <laughs> well, this one's all one piece though. But hey, I don't have to change paints. I'll just go back to dealing with him. Um, was it four to pack of ogres? Plus the two ogres from Ogre Command, because I just popped them out of the plastic before the video. Right. Got a whole lot to paint with this one, though. I have to go back up a brush size, or three. a little Get out, of, get out of my head song, I almost said get out of my song head. I too much head in my song. Chaos AD takes on the streets. Refuse. Resist. Yeah, so much muscle going down this line here. There's a slight mold line, but you wouldn't notice it if you weren't looking for it, at least not on this one. Your mileage might vary. They may or may not catch it at the uh, factory or the processing or however they do it now that it's manufactured overseas. I don't know when or where the uh, quality control standards are implemented. I know Reaper is really good about replacing parts. I know Privateer Press is pretty good about it. I know Weird used to be really good about it when they were still doing metal miniatures. I'd gotten the alternate sculpt Guild Executioner and he had either two right or two left arms and was missing the backpack like the backpack soulstone or steampunk powered uh, for his claws but I glued him together as is with the mismatched parts to make him part of my Lady Justice Dead Justice Nightmare Edition box
because he had, you know, one arm going and then he had another of the same arm going, you know, completely weird ways. But it's like he's got two right arms or two left arms or whatever it was. So it seemed to fit the theme. Understood the assignment. I'm going to pull up this real quick. Wait, no, he did finish the episode. Never mind. I thought I still had like a couple minutes left on that John Oliver video about data mining. How easy it is and how currently legal it is. And how we are the product. That's what allows most of the internet to be quote unquote free because we are the product. And it's one way of uh, phrasing it. We're the target audience when it comes to the marketers, but yeah. We're being, our information is being sold, so that makes us the product. Surprised he didn't say something like this uh, video brought to you by whichever VPN. Like, I don't think he even mentioned VPN. I think he just wanted to go the legal route and make it so they can't do it anymore. Alright. If I go to pick up Vallejo paints, definitely would pick up some heavy skin tone. Probably would pick up some tan. <laughs> Maybe salmon, but you know. It's flesh enough for certain things. Oops, get that index finger. Can go right over the necklace and stuff. That way we don't have to worry about it later. dry brush over it. It already have its shadow tone. And it's heavy skin tone. It's kind of a rope-ish color. Anyway, it's like slightly lighter or slightly closer to a skin tone than khaki. just eating paint. Like I swear I get it covered and then like there's I don't know if it's the navel or what but it just keeps popping out with like no color in there. And down in a hole. Drop frames 0.6%. I can look at that. Seems better than some of the other nights. I haven't been looking at it all the nights, but some nights it's definitely been a whole lot choppier. Not sure how that looks on the back end, but. Willy-nilly here. Um, I am 
some stuff with chicken nuggies. Thanks again, guys. Dinner was awesome. Chicken nuggies. to head out the door earlier and Kitty had had an accident so I had to change the litter it's a smaller litter box well smaller container that I'm using as a litter box so it's easier to dump I just got to do it more often and I didn't so it was a little too full for someone's liking I know one time at my old apartment I'd accidentally put the litter box lid with the door and everything facing the wrong direction so it was facing the wall and so poor kitty had to go and just kind of went like right in front of the box because like what am I supposed to do? But at least that was on the uh, little floor mat for them. Oh, kitty, I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I put the lid on too quickly and didn't even look at it. It's like, it snapped on, it snapped on. We're good. Oh no, we are not good. Alright, so I get this hand and the legs. last night or during the day or what it wasn't you know, loud per se but something was going on in one of these neighboring apartments that made it feel like there was someone tromping around upstairs but I'm in the upstairs so unless maybe somebody got sent into the crawl space because maybe there's a roof leak or something I've heard it dripping before. I've reported it to maintenance. They've come out, they've checked it, and there was nothing. So it's like, alright, I don't want to be a false alarm here. Like, it might have been like condensation off of one of the toilet pipes or something just dripping down. I mean, that's probably not good either. You don't want random moisture, but you know. Get under there. Stop sitting all crooked. Alright, well, this leg is bent, so there's not as much of it to get. Just a little bit of the thigh, and then the knee, and then the shin and calf, right above these wraps. wraps I'll just put like actual khaki or whatever over top I'm gonna get this straight up against there oh get out of my head both my sinus issues which are mostly cleared up I think now that first morning breath kind of thing is uh, still a bit rough but oh, didn't get under the chin not by the hair of my chinny chin chin got a whole lot more to do on the right leg however as we go all the way up to like half of the thigh the knee, the straightened leg, still terminating in the wrap, the uh, improvised 80s leg warmers here. Oh 
like from uh, one of the characters backstories in Dead Like Me good show fun yeah it's upside and crooked hurting my spine hurting oh yeah if you're worried about mold lines there's a serious one under the left arm running down to the leg doesn't seem to be here on the shield oh, excuse me but it is hidden by the arm so definitely not a big deal but if it's gonna bug you I'm at least trying to make you aware of it so the one piece ogre from that set so this guy the club comes off that's over his head and these two have both of their forearms come off this guy is all one piece oh, now to do some feetsies start with the soles yeah, with how far down the wraps go, don't have to worry about it too much. Not as much foot showing, just this guy's got his, uh, like he's mid step, so he's about to pull his right one up and take that next step forward. That or he's putting that weight into that swing to uh, grind somebody's uh, bones into bread. Down between the toes. Choose the knife edge of the brush. Go below the leg warmers as much as possible. Hugging the base. So we'll just paint over the base with. I brought those back too the brush black and brush gray. Make a nice solid base color without uh, being distracting in photos. We are at an hour in, so I'm going to pop that closed. for a minute
first paper towel. I forgot to grab my egg drops, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's still my jacket from when I went over there. Stay. We've been trying to reach you about your body's extended warranty. Like, oh, if only. Is any of this covered? Hi. I don't know the name of the book Greg has, but it's the fifth edition big book of NPCs, and there's some pretty interesting sounding ones on there. They're not just your standard, oh, hey, here's the player character, he says, like, no, here's this, uh, lawful evil lizard folk dude, who essentially is a devil as a lawyer. things knobby and lumpy and is it like a troll? What is it supposed to be? That's right. Oh! Oh, I've been assembling the uh, Shipwreck Revenant backwards. I was wondering why like the one arm was one way and the other was the other way. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Shikra, Shipwreck Revenant and the Coral Golem came together as... Let's go back to the Kickstarter real quick. Yeah, Mulder Car was only a $60 add-on. They were a $12 one, and at least going with the $12 Titans of the Tide, I don't know the price of the coral golem right now but twenty four ninety nine for just the where's his name shipwreck revenant who's the painter on that sculpted by Jason Weave Does it artist Michael Proctor damn good job with that all the vertebras and the uh, masthead and the anchor and cannon and all that fun stuff. But I swear the face was on the other side of this thing. Huh. I don't even... And I'm pretty sure it's over there. I don't think I have it with me. So I can't mess with it, but... Not there, there. Frog Hemoth. Fat Dragon Games. PDF Terrain. The Air Elementals. Savage Avatars. Terakzu. Dragon. Pretty Deadly. Sophie. It's a book I have to find to stick on the... Oh, book pile with a... I thought it was a candle. Apparently it's a goblet. I did get the Art of Bones uh, sketchbook. Dagon. Frost Giant King and Queen. Fire Giant Jailer for $6 or a Solar for an extra 5 I did all of it, I mean. Bone 6, Tales from the Green Griffin, and what's going on now? I'm not going to look at it because it's a tease. I can't even make rent right now. 
Where'd he go? Only fifteen dollars for Gormon. I'm pretty sure he's at least thirty. The dwarves uh, was in the course. Huh? Okay, so where'd the fourth ogre come from? Okay. So this guy, this guy that I painted way earlier, and this guy are all part of it. I'm not looking at my screen right now, but this guy was not. So maybe he's in the core, but it's an extra ogre. And then Ogre Command is also on there. Mystic Circle, $15 add-on. Invisible Heroes. Viridius. The Canthropes. The Crusaders. As an $8 add-on. We got some uh, paint on them not too long ago pack of six goblins in the core set. Ten dollar add-on of two, four, six, eight mouselings. Look at Geisha, a ninja, a couple of Vikings, looks like a wizard, maybe a sorcerer, and a paladin and a fighter maybe? Torture Chamber, the Black Star Corsairs were added on. I don't know if I got those, but I did double up on other things. The Chill Out set, which is four Yetis and a Winter Wolf. Diabolus for $10. Uh, Heroes 1, which includes the... player character model we're using for oh where did oh that's right I put them up there for the paladin cross giant warriors ten dollar add on savage worlds added to the core set Marath Marth Rangul fifteen dollar add on four pack of orcs that's not done those came from a separate pack and that's a whiz kid Well, he's accounted for. I'm not sure where the other ones are right now. Graveyard expansion. Graveyard gone. Mythos expansion. Oh, okay. So from the Stone and Skull Expansion 2, we got Brain in the Jar, Succubus, four more goblins, the Armadillo, the Bear, the three different sized like Stitch Golems, Minotaur, whatever the heck that thing is, a Howler or something? A dragon, the three plant monsters, six kobolds, four more fighter types, the naga, the flesh construct. Um, not sure who these are supposed to be, but some spear wielding. I can't tell the scale on there, so they could be dwarves, they could be something else. Uh, an automaton looking thing, and then that fourth ogre, the one with the fishing equipment. So like the aquatic ogre, I know that's a thing in at least 3.5. 
if you wanted to get extra parts of the core set. So for yourself was a dollar out on Because you could buy either a la carte or a la carte added on to what you already got, but 60 bucks just to get the whole main base set again, but and that's what includes grab my strong hand guy from uh, Scary Movie 2. Oh, here's the consolidated list of all those add-ons I just had. I think somebody did the math and it came down to like 35 cents a miniature if you just got, you know, everything or whatever. There's that troll, the Eastern Legends. The three ogres from the core side. Okay, but where is it under updates or what? To give us like <laughs> Bones Five, we know you've already painted all your miniatures. Oh yeah, sure. I'd really like to know what he's supposed to be called, but like a less healing troll. It's not the dire troll, but I don't want to put paint on him until I know what he's supposed to be. <laughs> Alright. So enough of a diversion. Let's go to Tan. Looks like there's some fun uh, Kickstarters going on right now. Bones 6, Tales from the Green Griffin, Hidden Places, Amazing 3D Printable Scenery, Acolytes of the Crawling Chaos, Bestiary Volume 5, 3D Printable Models. All oh, looks so fun. Oops, what am I doing? We still up and running? Okay. Let's see, this is the tan. Like from this angle on the container, it looks kind of tan, but when I open the container, ow, 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 ow. Mari thing, like that was not the case. I don't think I have any of my bugbears here. I think they're all there, the ones I've already painted. Excuse me, with Avrilaid Sunset. But let's get some uh, tan on my orcs, orc archers here. Oops my identical orc archers here. I don't know if I want to change the skin tone on the stone skull ogre, the, mer the aquatic ogre. Alright, let's see. I'm curious. Excuse me. Monster Man Wow, number one. Which is fully indexed. O for Ogre. Oh, come on. Ogre, Ogre Barbarian, Ogre's his character. Marrow. 
M-E-R-R-O-W. Cousins of the ogre have the aquatic subtype. Dwell in freshwater lakes and rivers, have a base land speed of 30 feet, and a swim speed of 40 feet, and are found only in aquatic environments. It's not a typical Greek club. They prefer to use long spears in melee attack. Plus 8 melee damage. 1d8 plus 7. More. Do we have a stat block for the marrow? No, it's the exact same except for they have the aqua subtype which I'm assuming comes with the uh, added benefits. Hmm. Could probably use an ogre mage figure at some point since yeah, they are challenge rating 8. So earlier Greg and I were looking at what that one NPC could do and some of the uh, magic items, wondrous items that were also listed in the book and it's like, oh hey, this thing's practically a deck of many things. It's the possibly useful items and you attune to it and the tinker is roaming with you and whatnot. Um, and every day you gotta see if you're because you have it for a hundred days and you have to see every day whether you receive its curse or its blessing like oh this lets me fly nope today it makes me scared of heights <laughs> Something sent death or a phantasmal killer after you. Some kind of assassin. But yeah. The differences between the additions when it comes to certain challenge ratings on monsters, when it comes to certain. damage outputs on spells are just so vastly different. The saving throws, the finger of death. <laughs> okay, this one, if you fail, you die! If you fail your fort save, you just die. Oh, if you pass it, you take like 3d6 or something as opposed to like however many freaking d10. I think it was like 4d10 damage, psychic damage. It's like one kept going, the other one could kill you instantly, but if you survive that you take a lot less damage than you're going to on the one that doesn't kill you instantly. It just kinda kills you instantly through hit point damage. Damage is... Damage becomes life loss. Like, that's magic. Instead of, nope, you're just dead. D-E-D. -E -D, dead. Get it down in between the bracelets or what happened? We can paint the metal right over top. Get down underneath the uh, arm parrot. I think I need to shake or stir or something that's paint better. There seems to be some separation going on. So I still got to paint the knobby knees on the sky. Shaker, 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 shaker. Mm -hmm. 
nubbies. There's a few seams on here, but nothing major enough that it's bothering me. Like I said, there's the kind of egregious one along the bow, but maybe that's a bow manufacturing thing, not a miniature manufacturing problem. after I get these other two some flesh tones I can wait on the bugbears because I need my reference model because I don't know if I started with dark flesh and then put the Everland sunset or if I just started with various colors in like the butterscotch triad that I had pieced together a bit of a seam on top of his head One down, two to go. Let's try to get rid of this mess up here. Let's start with this knobby knee. Since I put so much paint on that brush. Knobby knee, knobby knee, knobby knee. Bed knobby knees on broomsticks. Some of them out there want to get the knee better. their very distinguished chin. I mean it may be jutting but like the expression he seems to have on his face. It's like hmm stoic. I take my job as an archer seriously. As well he should. If he does his right, well if all three of them do their jobs right then they will never be in danger, at least not from that direction on the battlefield. At least not from, you know, frontline fighters or whatever, because they'll keep providing overwatch and... <laughs> Even if they're not, like, high-level archers and getting multi-level, multiple attacks per turn, there's no... Hi! <laughs> I got a rubber band earlier to, uh my internet adapter standing up on the desk I moved it over there with the uh, oh, you can actually kind of see it but over there <laughs> where the uh, charging hub is and the 
accessory powered accessory hub if it's working like it's physically there so like a light switch for you yeah, it's lit up so there's blue I don't know because it's plugged into the power so it's got its ex extra power it's plugged into the USB port on the computer and the cameras are plugged into it but Currently the computer isn't registering the other ones. Maybe after I restart the computer it'll have to do it. But all I did was restart the program to get things up and running. But maybe when I turn it on in the morning or whenever the heck I wake up, maybe it'll be functional. Now that's two down. These bristles are a little softer. Okay, just do like I did on the last one, start with the legs. It seemed to go faster that way. Partially because I already knew where I was going from the first model. And having the right size brush for the job really helps. skirting anyone got plans for Easter got invited to go over to my friend's house for it actually have it off from work this year Pizza Hut until a couple years ago, our franchise, which is like this half of Ohio, part of Pennsylvania on this side, all the way down to West Virginia, and however many, bunch of stores though, and they'd have us open on Easter, and it's like, you can't give us Christmas off and not give us Easter off. If the Easter side of the bookend doesn't happen, there's no reason to celebrate the Christmas side of it. I mean, I know Easter isn't as much of a retail holiday anymore, but seriously, as far as the religious aspect, which is actually the reason why you're giving us the day off, like, you gotta be consistent. If you're gonna give us one, you gotta give us both. And they'd have us open later, so we'd open up at 4 p.m., assuming that people have already had their dinners and whatnot, and that would they would want some pizza afterwards. Like, but we wouldn't have more than like a handful of orders any of the years I was there. And it was just a waste of time for us to even be open. We were losing money just having people there on the clock oh my leg is not happy let's not wait, let's not wait, let's move it yeah so several years ago I may have messed up my knee a little bit and sometimes it flares up, so I guess I have a trick knee? I don't know. I don't think that's truly what it means. I think it's slightly different usage, but... Yeah, I was coming up the stairs Saturday night after the game, so Saturday night, Sunday morning, bringing my stuff up, and... Greg was helping, and... <laughs> I got my load up there and I left another load downstairs and he'd already brought a load of stuff up. I'm like, can you meet me halfway with the one that's down there? This is why I got up halfway up the stairs my leg is like, nope. But that wasn't really hurting yesterday. 
But I definitely, when I head off of here, need to put some pain relief gel on there. Can't remember the name of it, but like prescription strength asper cream. I'm not sure if it's the same active ingredient, but It certainly gets the pain relief right into the muscle area. And the injury happened in February, the initial one. But it's like I wasn't doing anything egregious. I was standing. It was for a while, but went to get out of the car, got into the car, walked to the car, got into the car just fine. Went to get out of the car and if I can get my limbs in there, my knee didn't want to straighten out at all. <sighs> so I'll figure out the color for my bug hairs tomorrow. Figure out what I'm doing with my gun ones. All one, two, three, four, five. The one that's on her apron string. Insert pithy farewell. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all the things, push all the buttons.